from Eastern North Carolina. Are you crafty friends out there? Um, this is Nana Kay. I'm bringing you another one of our Naked Journal kits um, today so for you to review. This will be going into the Etsy shop as soon as we can get this uh, video edited and ready to go. Um, what I have again is a base. Naked. This one is a naked journal. The other one was a semi-naked. This is a naked journal. Excuse me, the other one was a half-naked journal. This is a naked journal. I do not have any flips, pockets, anything in this journal. It is simply the journal made with the kit that I used to make this journal. The kit that we used was Angela Kerr's Wildflowers Kit. It was made with a condensed version of um, a Reader's Digest, which is the normal size that I use. And I think that comes out to be seven and a half by five and a half is what I, most of them do. We did use Tyvek to strengthen the edges, and I did expand the um, spine on this one. We used fabric from Walmart, which is a beautiful melon color on the single on the first layer. Uh, the second layer is this wrap around here, and the ribbon to tie this book closed is, is beneath this, so this is really strong. It's not going to pull out. Then you got the next layer here, which is a piece of linen cloth with some beautiful um, embroidery-type lace on top of that, and then paper um, fixtures or paper embellishments from the kit itself right here and one of Angela's butterflies. These um, roses are from Little Birdies. I think it's the name of, of that company that the roses um, came from. And these are all paper roses hand done by Little Birdies. Uh, the ribbon itself, that's the closure, is from Plum Boutique and it is designed to match this particular kit totally. Um, Plum Boutique does... Um, match up with Angela Kerr's um, kits to make her ribbons match so you can buy a completely matching set of this particular ribbon from them. As you open up, you see that the first two pages are left blank. Um, but however, you can put a pocket or an insert in this one if you wish to do so. I just paste it in. Or you can go in and make you a, a diagonal pocket for the front or you can leave the front just like it is. As you go through, you'll see um, a lot of designs from the kit. I, I, I don't think I've repeated too many of them, so it was really a nice kit. The Wildfire Kit's really a nice kit. So as we went on, this is one of her backing sheets, and um, I'm going to just go through the book. I'm just going to kind of flip through them, not do a lot of talking, because there's not a lot to say, because I don't have any extras in this inside the book, so we're just going to let you see the pages so you know what you're getting. And anywhere you see the thumbprint, that is a hidden pocket. This is a standard for my... Um, altered books. I always put hidden pockets in my altered books. Uh, the way I do these is I strip the pages out in between here so that I have less pages in the book that originally so that as I add layers I don't get a crocodile mouth um, book. So that's how we reduce our pages and then I take the two pages back and front and, and glue together to make this pocket. So you'll see thumb pockets on just about every page in this book. So here we go. We're going to go through all the beautiful art that is in this book. We did trim out with um, an oxide and I want to say it's melon maybe. I, I will post it down below what oxide I used to um, do the trim of this book. But the whole book is trimmed out and uh, inked out with um, an oxide ink. All right, let's go on. You got your green stripe background sheet, more of the wildflower prints. This is a melon color with wildflower prints. You see the thumb pieces on every one of them. This is Angela, one of Andrew Kerr's specialties. This is a white page. It's again, they're there for you to be able to add something to it. I made this particular insert. This is a one, two, three. Five pocket, six, this is truly a six pocket insert because I would glue it here, here, and here. And I'd be able to put something behind there. And there's a pocket, there's a pocket, there's a pocket, and then two pockets there. So if you go on Angela's um, playlist on, on her YouTube, she has a playlist for the Wildflowers Journal. She makes a lot of these inserts, so you can um, go on that and look at um, inserts to put into this particular uh, base that we've already made. Going on, this is her flower, one of her flower print background sheets with the beautiful bumblebee and tag. That is so cute. And another one of the uh, stripes. An another one of the linen. Going on. Beautiful, beautiful work here. This is more of a, a pink than a peach, but it, it's still peachy looking. 
This is kind of a, a end of summer, beginning of fall look to me. And that's some rain boots pattern. That's so cute. Wildflowers at the picket fence. <laughs> Again, this book is made on these sheets. The reason you're getting such beautiful, vivid color is I use a 38-pound cardstock. Brochure cardstock, excuse me. I use a 38-pound brochure paper. It's not really cardstock. It's 38 pounds, and it's got a really nice, smooth texture. And my printer just does beautiful printing on that particular paper. I'm, I'm really thrilled with this paper. Another hidden pocket here. You just, you just can't go wrong with giving this as a gift for somebody to complete. It is just really a beautiful book. I did not stitch this book because I didn't, but I had finished this book when I started doing the stitching down the side. But these pages were sturdier than the prior book I had. So I did not, I have not um, stitched these. I may do another one, and I may do one with stitching on it. But this is this is the one we have now. It's completely, it's our first completely naked journal with with the kit stuff that goes with it. It's so lots and lots of places you can add stuff. You can even add stuff on these pages. You don't have to leave the pages like they are. You add whatever you want to add. Pockets, um, inserts, flip outs, a wolf falls, photos. You can have photos, notes, ephemera tags it's just lots of stuff you can do with this beautiful journal i just love the color i just have fallen in love with this melon color okay we're almost to the end of the actual base book okay all right that is the pages in the base book when you get to the back page it's the same thing as the front you can actually put pockets in here and decorate it so we're going to set that aside a minute. That was the base naked journal that you get with this kit. Then you're going to get this particular insert that I have completed. And like I said, it was, there's a, you can put a pocket here. By, if you just glue it here onto the page like this, upright like this, and then put a tag behind there, that gives you six pockets on this particular thing so that's this is an idea i mean this is this is actually a a thing a video that angela does so you can actually go in and see how this was made but i have completed this one as a sample of you so you know what you can do with the stuff that were included then we're going to have this beautiful stack of stuff going with this kit and as you'll see we've got all kinds of completed tickets and tags um, this one doesn't have to have anything else really done to it unless you just want to add some lace on the side or something. But it has, it is machine stitched, the beautiful machine stitch designs. Got all kinds of seam stitch designs throughout this whole book. This one actually is mad, it has a mat, photo mat on the back. But there's lots and lots of tags. That, now this is an incomplete tag. You would have to finish putting your bow on it, your hole and put whatever you want on it so there are some incomplete tags and things in here that you can decorate yourself and add to your book we got pockets here that can be added to the book pages different types of pockets all kinds of pockets here and we do an extra line of paper on the back of our pockets so that we got good strength here where, where stuff's going to be going in and out of so they are strong they're not they're not weak um pockets more smaller tags. This is a, just a basic pocket that you glue here, here, and here. They don't have flaps on it. But again, we have um, helped strengthen this by adding extra paper to the back. Another stitched journal card. Another stitched um, small tag. Another type of tag that we've actually cut out beautiful infinite designs on the side. I've got a lot of these. I've got punches that I actually use to make these cute little edges. Another pocket. It goes on and on. It's lots and lots of ephemera with this um, thing. Here's another one of my designs with these edges punched out. It's a really, really, really nice gift. This would make a really nice Christmas gift or birthday gift for somebody that likes to craft. 
Now, if somebody out there in the beautiful world of um, crafting would like to complete a journal, all you have to do is notify me, and I will do a journal complete. But, of course, it will not cost the same as what this kit's going to be because if I have to do all the work, it takes a little bit more time. This is an envelope that we have stitched, but I haven't glued it together, so it still has to be glued together and decorated. It's a larger of the journal cards. Another pocket. Another pocket. I need to keep them straight up, don't I? More journal cards. This is another envelope, a larger one. And these are all Angel these are all Angela's designs. I can't take any credit for these. Pockets. More journal cards. More different type cards with fancy edges, fancy corners. Matted. More po lots of pockets in here, as you see. What makes these, my journals kind of unique to me is, is the, the, the beautiful stitching that I'm able to get off my machine. I have two machines. I have a brother and I have a singer. And um, my singer is a fashion made, I think. It's probably a much older machine. But I, I'm telling you, it is one sewing little thing on paper. I, I am thrilled to death. There's one that's really intricately sewed. It's all the way around the edge. It's a little scallop. This is a blank journal card that needs to be decorated. I said this ephemera kit is large. Journal cards, journal cards, and tags, and all this stitching and sewing that's been done. It's really pretty stuff. I'm not going to keep going through all of them. As you see, there's just lots of them. I do have some postcards in here and some different things. But this is a pile of ephemera here to add to that, this book. Um, just lots and lots of it. And then as you go on, here's here's one of my um, cards I actually put the tab already on. And here's two belly bands. That's what's included in this particular kit. So, um, look for it on the Etsy site. Um, we should be posting it, I'm going to say, within the hour or so of, of this video being made. So, look for the Etsy site and look for our naked journal. Not, this is our... Not a half naked, but this is a completely naked journal. If you're interested in it, you can write me, make your comments, and um, hopefully um, we'll see you soon. Thank you.